Hi everyone, welcome to Gear Sports Training. My name is Kate Jackson, I'm the Director of Biomechanics. And in this video, we're gonna talk about the ideal kinematic sequence as it relates to a volleyball approach. So here we have a 3D video of one of our Olympic athletes. Every Olympic athlete that we've measured has demonstrated an ideal kinematic sequence. Now, although the sequence can't be seen with the naked eye, we're gonna slow it down and I'm gonna walk you through what we look for. First, we wanna see their pelvis rotational velocity hit its peak, followed by the torso rotational velocity, followed by elbow extension, and finishing off with shoulder internal rotation. This works to maximize hand speed, as well as is associated with fewer injuries. Every Olympic athlete that we've measured has demonstrated this sequence, and a lot of the other athletes that we've measured who have higher incidences of low back and shoulder injuries are typically shown to have a kink or an inconsistency in their kinematic sequence. By knowing what the sequence is, it can help to maximize performance as well as identify athletes that might have an elevated risk for injury. Thanks for watching.